There is a widespread trend in RPGs that springs from the move from the tabletop to the computer and game console. This whole series has focused on that theme, but few trends have been as widespread as the one we're going to examine in this video. In the early days of tabletop RPGs, character levels were handed out infrequently, relative to what we expect today. The original manuals for Dungeons & Dragons instructed the Dungeon Master to grant characters experience only when an entire quest was over. Such quests might take anywhere between 2 and 20 hours, depending on the quest and the Dungeon Master running it. This fit, and still fits, the nature of the tabletop experience. Players gathering in person have to set aside a significant amount of time from their day, so longer play sessions and less frequent level ups are totally normal. Video games were different. One of the earliest lessons that video game designers learned was that a game should always show a player its core loop in one play session. A core loop is an experience of all the game's major mechanics organized in a repeating circle of introduction, challenge, and result. Because video game players frequently play for 30 minutes or less, these core loops often play out quite quickly. Naturally, digital RPG designers realized that an essential part of their core loop was gaining a level. Thus, most digital RPGs started delivering their character levels much more quickly. To balance this out, each level up conferred significantly less power than the same event on the tabletop. This trend became incredibly prevalent, and as the RPG level up was adopted by an increasing number of other genres, its period and significance continued to drop. The games we're concerned with in this video, Orcs Must Die and Kingdom Rush, still hand out level ups more quickly than their tabletop counterparts, but they don't depreciate the value of those level ups quite as much as their peers. The reason has to do with the way they allow players to measure the effectiveness of any given level up, but we need to dig into the mechanics to see why. At the time of its release, Orcs Must Die was an unusual blend of tower defense and the third person action genre. But the game's mixed action and tower defense elements both rest on an RPG framework. By completing battles, the player is able to earn and spend skulls to upgrade his tower units. Although skulls look like money on the surface, they actually behave more like experience points. Players spend them to upgrade their favorite skills in the same way they might select a specific level up perk or ability in Dungeons & Dragons. Even more importantly, those upgrades are permanent and cannot be refunded or reallocated. Thus, the player has to choose these level up perks very carefully based on the success they've had with particular traps and also the enemy roster for upcoming battles. Likewise, Kingdom Rush makes every decision in its level up system an important one. Although the player can reallocate points in this system, and indeed players will have a very hard time beating the game if they don't, the player still has to spend very carefully from a limited budget of skill points. Each choice in the level up system has a demonstrable impact on the strength of towers and spells. And it's in this that we find the reason why each level up is so precious. The currencies which serve as experience in both of these games are earned by the strength of the player's performance in any given level. That is, beating a level grants some stars or skulls, but beating the level perfectly grants more. Because level ups are strong, but not cheap, the player usually can't acquire the next perk until they've perfectly beaten a level with the perks they already have. This means that the player has to deeply understand what each perk is for and how to use its effects in an optimal way. In other words, players can't simply grind for level ups, they have to study for them and pass the test of the level. Thankfully, each level also serves as a kind of laboratory for the player, allowing them to experiment and test the limits of every tower and the perks that augment them. Thus, players learn how to select their next perk carefully because the game educates them in the meaning, impact, and shortcomings of each one. In the era of freemium and mobile gaming, digital RPGs and RPG hybrids will probably continue to hand out level ups much more rapidly than their tabletop counterparts. But some genres that have incorporated level up systems can still replicate the tabletop tradition of players poring over skill and perk lists, looking for the exact benefit that will help them the most in their campaign. Tower defense games like Orcs Must Die and Kingdom Rush are excellent examples of this trend since the genre they occupy is so cerebral. Tower defense is all about careful tower selection and placement. There's not much for the player to do, except carefully watch the results of each tactical choice. It's only natural that this would allow for the style of level up that prevailed in the slower tabletop form. 